Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next war recap video, and this one was against Reddit Havoc, and uh, good war by us. They put up a bit of a fight, but uh, they weren't able to do much to, especially the bottom uh, half of our bases, and it's kind of a weird matchup, I guess, because we had, or they had a Town Hall advantage up top, they had a Town Hall 11, which we didn't have, but we had an advantage down low because our lowest nines uh, were a lot more developed than their lowest bases. And uh, you can see we got uh, the top two uh, bases, two star, the Town Hall 10, or the Town Hall 11, and the Town Hall 10. Then the two 9.5s were three starred, and all the regular nines and below three starred. So small war, everyone's kind of coming back from the Alpha War. By the way, shout out to One Hive Alpha with their 100th win. Uh, good job to those guys. I think they're still undefeated. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me at that. But I think that's what I've been hearing. So anyway, great job to them. And uh, good little war to us at Genesis. So close on number one. It's actually my attack on a Town Hall 11. Pretty crazy. Uh, being only a kind of a 9.5 still. And I have the 235 troop capacity. So one more army camp left to finish. I do have more troop space than usual, but so close here. I wish I could have recorded this live as I did it, but I've been having trouble uh, recording off my iPad. Obviously the rest of my videos are on my phone here uh, that has the wider screen, but I always want to attack on my iPad and uh, have to use separate recording, which it hasn't been working lately, so uh, maybe I'll be able to get it going soon. And in the meantime, I'll have uh, some more live on War Day series videos. Because I know you like you guys like seeing the live action, so I'll do my best to keep the live stuff coming on the channel uh, whenever I get the opportunity. But anyway, uh, taking a look at this attack, starting off with the Queen Walk, and this base had been hit a few times before by some Town Hall 9s, so I knew this Queen Walk would work, because uh, it was a little bit close when I dropped her at the beginning, whether she'll go up or down, but I, kn I knew from the attacker before me that she'll head up north, and you can see she does right here. It was very convenient that this trash building's um, or within range. She can basically take out all of these along her way. And I'm just basically creating a big funnel. The queen's gonna do it on the left side. Then on the right side, there goes the jump. The wall breakers would have been kind of hard to squeeze in there. So I went ahead and used the jump. And the king, the golem, and about four valks, and a wizard to back it up, all moving forward. So creating the funnel on the right side there. Have the poison spell for the CC troops. And right here, I'm gonna drop in the wall breakers. Uh, had one die, so I dropped a Valk to tank. Here come the wall breakers. They're going to open up that middle. You can see how wide the funnel is, so uh, everything's ready to go through. Drop in my next like 12 Valks, whatever I have left. And uh, my king's pretty much done, but the, the funnel's been created. All the Valks are moving forward. That's the important part. Pop the queen's ability to get the aggro off her. Then let the Valks go on in rage, freeze, and a heal. So just saturating that core with spells. And you can see how quickly the Valks take out that Inferno Tower under all those spells. And they even get in there, take out the Eagle and the King pretty quickly. So uh, not a lot of time for them to take damage. And the healers are going to go over and get on them. So the Valks will pretty much be put back to full health right here, uh, which is great. I still have about a minute left at this point. But you'll see a few things might have cost me it. Uh, one of the main things right here, for some reason, I don't know why these healers get off the Valks. I guess the queen started taking a little bit of damage, and then from there, they're just on her the rest of the attack. I'm sprinkling in these wizards, but these Valks are going to start thinning out and not being able to move as fast, so that did hurt me, the healers not staying on the Valks, and uh, I guess these wizards, I might have clumped them up a little too much. Probably could have saved a few more for up top when the archer tower and the cannon get distracted, because all my wizards are down, they're kind of back behind the queen. Uh, everything's converging on these last few buildings. I went ahead and dropped in those minions, but the Valks die here, and uh, that Archer Tower is going to take out the minions, and even if they had gotten the cannon, there's still that army camp left up, and not enough time to do it, so that cannon's so close to going down right there. Uh, you can see it has pretty much nothing left, and then those wizards were about to uh, take out that army camp, so so close. Um, unfortunately, after this attack, we couldn't get it three-starred. Uh, just some unlucky stuff, but very close. Hope you guys like that attack, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for my Town Hall 10 future, because I've been having some awesome attacks like you saw there. So let's keep moving, taking a look at John, oops, wrong one, sorry. Uh, where are we? Yeah, number five. Uh, we're taking a look at 
Ana. Jon Snow had a good attack, by the way. I just wanted to show this one because it's one of those Golem Avalanche attacks, and it's always fun to watch on these dead zone bases. A little something different. So uh, coming in here with just that one uh, Golem there, then the other one a little bit lower down. So two Golems initially has the Wall Breakers to let everything on in right there. Uh, the Golems are going to reroute on into the base. He dropped the queen out wide, which is great. She takes out those buildings, uh, which helps make sure nothing's going to flank these golems. Uh, all the defenses are straight ahead, so uh, the queen does get locked onto by the expo, unfortunately, right here. Just kind of how it worked out, and uh, she's taking quite a bit of damage right there. A few Teslas pop in, but no big deal there. Pops the queen's ability. Uh, she's actually onto the lava hound right now. But there goes the king. The jump spell is going to let him get in there. Take out the Tesla farm, so a little bit of havoc at the beginning here, but everything's starting to develop okay. Uh, that next golem goes down. He has a few wall breakers to let that in, and it'll meet up with the big group of golems. Uh, Queen's on the CC, but she'll follow the kill squad. Uh, that nice little dead space will make sure everything goes into the right uh, compartment. It'll funnel her to the right here, and uh, that Tesla was kind of weird how it didn't go down, but the queen shoots it. But working its way around the base, that next golem, like I said, and I've said in the attack strategy video and all that stuff, reinforcing with that next golem, wall breakers to let it on in, and uh, it'll start taking for some of those defenses. Uh, the queen is pretty low, and the king did go down, so it doesn't have a whole lot of damage, but those wizards are still pretty solid. Uh, they do quite a bit of damage, so as long as he has quite a few wizards up there, he's going to be good. Still has the four hogs yet to deploy. We'll see those go in in a moment. Uh, but these golems just out in front, and I, I've said this before, at Town Hall 9, if these golems soak up uh, all the damage, you can 3-star any base, if the golems are always tanking. Uh, the reason it doesn't work sometimes is because the queen or the king or the wizards all go down too early, and that almost happened right here, but the queen is able to stay up, and these wizards and hogs converge on these defenses while they're distracted, so uh, all those point defense going down, that one cannon did, did survive, but... Uh, no big deal. Has the hogs coming in for that archer tower. Those are great to bring at the end of the attack while everything's distracted because uh, you'll probably have some golems left over. And just in case you don't have the wizards or the queen or whatever, uh, you can use those hogs while everything's locked on to the golems and uh, take these defenses out pretty cheaply. So a uh, nice little poison for that skelly trap. And uh, doesn't have a lot left, but that's typically how it works here. Awesome three star to uh, Ana Bender taken out this base. Awesome job. Go ahead and fast forward through these last few seconds and uh, move on to one more attack. Kind of a short recap, but don't have a whole lot of uh, just a small war, you know, 20 v 20. Also, uh, we don't, the bottom bases weren't very good, so I don't want to go too low because uh, this the bases were kind of very premature and underdeveloped. Anyway, though, uh, we have Civil Serpent coming in against uh, number 11. I love the name Civil Serpent, by the way. Kind of cool how it ro uh, rolls off the tongue. But anyway, uh, the queen shoots down that uh, archer tower. Great timing on that hog. He had to deploy it before the archer tower went down, so the hog would initially target the archer tower. Then from there, it goes right to the Tesla. So just for that one sneaky hog, he gets the CC lure and uh, has to pop the ability because he doesn't have a rage. Uh, but no big deal. I mean... A lot of people like to hold on to the queen's ability, but you got to use it at some point. And as long as he's confident his queen's not going to take too much damage from now on, uh, he can be uh, rest assured that she'll stay up as long as she doesn't take too much damage. But anyway, comes in with the Valks here, kind of cautious deployment, making sure the funnel's created, which it is. So everything's going to beat through that wall. Actually, no, never mind, has the wall breakers from the CC. A lot of people do that, bring max wall breakers in the CC, and that works fine if you don't want the giant or the wizard or whatever. Just bring those wall breakers. Um, so works nicely there. Has the poison for the queen. And what was kind of interesting about this attack is he's bringing all heal spells. So just letting the Valks kind of beat through the walls. A little bit hard to predict where they'll go, but has a general idea. And using the hogs to kind of supplement them as they work their way around, just sprinkling in some hogs. Everything's distracted on the on the uh, Valks for the most part. The healers were on the Valks for a while too, which is great. Extra healing. And you can see they're just kind of working their way around this base. Uh, going compartment by compartment, beating through the wall. But these level 4 Valks, I think he even has some level 5 mixed in, they don't take that long to get through these walls. And especially with the queen backing them up and sprinkling in these hogs to tr target these defenses. So kind of an improv attack to some extent. You know, doesn't know exactly where everything's going to go, but knows the idea of the attack. And those work great. Sometimes they're even better because, uh, you know, you can adapt on the spot and kind of see how, how what's going on. 
uh, what you can change as the attack's going on. But anyway, worked out really nicely. A lot of the Valks went out of the base, but no big deal. Uh, Valks are so powerful at Town Hall 9 that sometimes it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you have the right kind of troops. I think I've been saying this before. As long as you have the right kind of troops, uh, you can get the 3-star in a variety of different ways. So this is just one of them that took out this base. Awesome attack, the Civil Serpent. Uh, that's the war, guys. A bit of a short recap, but not a whole lot going on in this war. There were some great other great attacks. I'm just not going to show them uh, for time, if nothing else. So anyway, uh, good, good job to One Hive Genesis. It was a fun war, and uh, hopefully we'll have an arranged war next week, and uh, I can test out my new Town Hall 10 skills uh, during that arranged war. So stay tuned, and like I said, I'll keep the live action going try to have some live attacks or live on war day or whatever. So anyway, yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectatron out.